Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month, and some of what is so special, so important, reaches to the heart of you. In fact, I do think of all the zodiac out there, it is you that is most likely to feel this to be an especially consequential time. And so part of what makes it so consequential for you is the fact that you are going to have a lunar eclipse in your sign. Now, this is the first of a series of eclipses that are going to be playing out this year and next year as well. And it is over the course of this time that you will be redefined in key ways. A lunar eclipse in your sign means that some part of your identity is coming to an end. You are having a realization. Your heart very likely will be speaking to you in very strong ways. Your passions very likely will be running very high with a lunar eclipse like this. And yet it ultimately represents a turning point for you. It was the ancients who thought of eclipses as a snake. One way to understand them, some considered them more in alignment with a dragon, depending on the historical context, the cultural context. But we know that this idea of shedding dead skin, it comes up again and again. And when it comes to a lunar eclipse in particular, it is as if some truth about yourself, which might have been there, you might have felt, might have been in the ether, it feels like it gets washed clean. You see it clearly as if for the first time and it changes you. It helps you to make a choice, to make a decision. Who are you? But more importantly with a lunar eclipse, it is who are you not and deciding to leave that behind. This lunar eclipse is special also because of how it is speaking to other power players in the sky. It is effectively a part of a larger configuration that astrologers call a T-square. It has Venus retrograde opposite it, and then it has Mars speaking to both of these placements, the lunar eclipse and Venus as well. And all of that suggests a whole lot of energy whole lot of passion, maybe even frustration as well, a desire for change that you can feel that is very much on the surface. Well, it is part of what is facilitating this transformative time. This lunar eclipse will begin a rare extended eclipse season that's going to take us right into next month for that matter. And so it is in your sign that it begins. It is with this eclipse happening with you that kicks off this very special portal where the veil between the worlds is especially thin. It becomes that much easier to recognize the spiritual lessons playing out in your life. And the spiritual lessons for you, especially at the beginning, are those that you identify with that much more closely. Now you add to this, we are going to have a solar eclipse as well on the summer solstice. And so both the sun and Mars have a, a heating principle, an accelerating principle. But it is at the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere when the day is especially long. The sun is in the height of its power. And this solar eclipse is going to be taking place at the very beginning of its sign, but in a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding yourself more deeply and being a part of the transformation that you're ready for. It has to do with psychological regeneration, physical regeneration, wherever it is that you've been working for meaningful change, wherever it is that you're ready for a rebirth, it is this solar eclipse that is going to bring it with that much more intensity. Yes, but clarity as well. It is a part of the sky that sometimes has to do with endings, but it's a solar eclipse. It's a beginning for you and a powerful one at that. And so, yes, you're being that much more honest with yourself. Those changes that start at the lunar eclipse, it is the solar eclipse that really helps them 
to reach a deeper layer of yourself, but also allows these changes to be part of a new beginning. Now that solar eclipse, that part of the sky also speaks to what is happening on a level of your relationship to financial institutions. And so this may very well bring those types of relationships into focus now. If you are one of the many people who've been wanting to access funding, this solar eclipse can help that come together very quickly for you at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is all about that lunar eclipse in your sign, I have to say. But in addition to that, because a lunar eclipse makes you aware of your emotions and there's nothing like love to help you to know what it is that you really feel and where it is that you've been honest with yourself, but more importantly, haven't been honest with yourself about a particular dynamic, all of that is gonna to come to the surface. You add to this Venus retrograde in your opposite sign, well, just days after that solar eclipse, Venus will go direct. And if all of that wasn't enough in the last days of the month, Mars is going to enter a part of the sky for you that has to do with romance and flirtation. Now, normally Mars will step into a sign for about seven weeks every two years. This time, though, is different. This is Mars stepping into this part of the sky for a nice long seven month stay. I will be here to talk about it every step of the way that has to do with the upcoming Mars retrograde season. And I'll save that for another video. But for now, all of this tells me that love is powerful for you. It is a catalyst for you. It is part of what is helping you to change yourself and change your life now. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, that lunar eclipse may very well bring somebody into your life. It may feel like a powerful faded attraction with Mars moving through the very foundation of your chart plus that Venus retrograde. If anybody is gonna connect with someone from the past, it certainly could be you now. And it seems to be an important experience. It'll at least represent a moment. Now, how far you take that moment is always up to you, but it's gonna help you to understand where you've been and whom it is that you've been as part of this moment of a shifting identity, knowing who you are today and whom it is that you are becoming. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I feel like this lunar eclipse is gonna help you to get really honest with yourself about what is actually going on between you and this person. What is this dynamic? What is this attraction? Where is it rooted in the past? and where it is part of your future or not, that will be illuminated for you, perhaps in surprising and unexpected ways, but this is very all or nothing, especially for you. And you will be making a choice, whether you're all in or you're going in a whole other direction. But of course, with Venus still retrograde until late in the month, final answers may not necessarily be final, but this is going to be defining and will tell you quite clearly which way things are going. And for those of you in an established bond, a powerful time as well with the Venus retrograde in your opposite sign and then changing directions by the time we get late into the month, I do feel like that lunar eclipse is going to illuminate your own true feelings, your own understanding of yourself within this particular bond and how you really feel about it. If you live with your partner, you may find yourself being especially frustrated with them right around that lunar eclipse. But all of that ultimately is to help you to know yourself more deeply. And it is going to be towards the end of the month, once Venus goes direct, that you will understand more about what part of the ongoing dynamics that have been playing out over the last couple of months, well, what have they meant in a larger sense to your partnership and how is it best to move forward from here what i love about this month for you will look in addition to the things i mentioned like i said it's a huge astrological month it's going to end with a conjunction a meeting in the sky of jupiter and pluto this is the second of three exact meetings that these planets are going to be having this year and it is this meeting in a financial part of the sky for you that is ultimately about empowering you to move towards greater abundance. 
It is about helping you to understand how you earn your money and how it is that you want that to be rooted in something more authentic, something that feels like it represents who you are today. Now that is part of an ongoing journey that you're taking this year, but for all that, it is ultimately this month that the lunar eclipse is going to be the star of the show for all of us. And the fact that it's in your sign means that it is you that is going to be most changed, but also most blessed for it. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.